Hello everyone and welcome back to the D-Hard House. My name is Alicia, I'm your host of this crafty video podcast, and this is my annual year in review episode. And 2020 was quite the year. I mean, I don't have to tell you guys, you know. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, 2020 was uh, an interesting year. And I can't think of a more polite word to use. So, in my year in review episode, I just take you through uh, what I made this past year. I review any goals that I made and whether or not I accomplished them and set new goals for this new year. So, uh, yeah, so in 2020, I did do uh, a bit of knitting. Just, just, just a bit, you know. <laughs> uh, I did knit, uh, crochet, spin, weave. You can see my loom over here. Um, did I do anything else? You know, I bought uh, some some painting stuff so I could paint my numbers, but I never got around to it. So maybe this year. <laughs> So, uh, I do use Ravelry as a uh, log for the things that I work on that are fiber related. Ravelry.com is a database of patterns that are free and patterns you can pay for. I post designs there as a designer, some free, some that you can pay for. Um, I generally keep my prices very low because I do not do this as a living to support my family. I do it because I enjoy it as something on the side. Uh, and I appreciate all the support that I wouldn't have given me for the years. It's just amazing and thank you so much. Um, so I do use Ravelry as a site to keep track of the things that I work on personally as well as posting designs for sale. And so in the project section on Ravelry, uh, if you use Ravelry in this capacity, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I do tag all of my projects based on type of craft, knitting, crochet, spinning, weaving, uh, and I also tag them by calendar year. So I tag my projects, anything I finished in 2020 gets the tag 2020. Anything I finished this year in 2021 will get tagged with this year. So. As far as I'm counting things, it doesn't matter when I started them, it just matters when I finished them and then I count them for that year. So, in the year 2020, uh, I've tallied up all of the yards of yarn that I have knit. So we talk about knitting, which is my main craft. In the year 2020, I knit a total of 12,188 which is actually down from the previous year. Previously in 2019, I knit 15,418 yards, which so far is my largest year for yardage. Um, so I knit roughly 3,000 less yards this year, which uh, I had to adjust to teaching online from home for a living, which was way more time consuming than I would have guessed. <laughs> uh, this craft room is now also my home office and it's a space I'm in a lot nowadays, uh, but not much crafting gets done in here. In fact, I usually leave this room now in order to craft because I spend my whole work in here in front of this very computer. <laughs> uh, but yes, I didn't have as much time this year uh, with the pandemic happening, uh, buying a house, uh, and all the eventful things that have been happening, um, and it, it just makes sense. I, I agree with that. I had to prioritize some other things. Uh, so to get those 12,188 yards, I finished 26 knitting projects. Last year I made 40 items, so that's also down. Uh, I made 14 less items, individual items. I did read a lot of small things last year, so that's okay. Uh, one of the main things that I knit is 
socks, pairs of socks. Uh, and so this year I made a total of 15 pairs of socks for myself, my husband, other members of our family that I give as gifts. 15 pairs of socks. Last year I finished 14. In fact, the year before that was 13. So it seems like each year I'm, being, I'm, I'm able to fit in one more pair of socks, which is kind of funny. So let's see if this year I can make 16. Um, I made two sweaters this year, only two. I knit The Weekender by Andrea Mowley and I knit the Campside Cardi by Alicia Plummer. And those were the only two sweaters that I finished this year. I do have another sweater still on the needles. I never got around to picking it back up again. Um, usually I knit quite a few shawls. Uh, the previous year I made six of them. This year I didn't really make any. I did knit a boomerang shawl, a small boomerang shawl, a cowl, and a scarf. I made those three out of my um, Color Study Shetland spin. I spun uh, three skeins uh, from the same fiber, just played with the color in different ways, and uh, made those three items out of it so I could compare. And those are really the only like neck accessories that I knit this year, which Honestly, I thought I made something else, but no, I didn't. Uh, I made one hat. I made one headband. I finished this one here in 2021, so it's not this headband. <laughs> uh, and I did my big ticket item. I did finish a large queen size blanket. So that's where most of my yardage came from this year. I also knit two baby blankets. And I hadn't made baby blankets the previous year, so. Something new I tried this year. I did knit a stuffy. I've never knit a stuffy before. I've crocheted them. Uh, but I did participate in the Adventure Gnome Mystery Knit Along by Imagine Landscapes uh, during the month of December for Advent. And it was a lot of fun. And the gnome is adorable. And now all my family members want one, so that's on the to-do list. <sighs> the goals I made for 2020. <laughs> Did you make goals for 2020? Because, wow, who saw all of this coming? Uh, yeah, I made goals for 2020. One of them, one of those goals was to finish one of the blankets I had. And I did do that. I finished the Buffalo Check Blanket, which does fit our queen size bed. We did upgrade to a king size bed. Uh, and the queen size bed is now in the guest room of our new home. Uh, so I did finish that blanket. Uh, and we did have a guest use it for all the for Christmas. So, yay! One goal was accomplished. Uh, another goal I made was to knit a colorwork sweater. I did start one. I did not finish it. Um, the pandemic happened, and I just couldn't find time. So I will finish it this year. Uh, and then I made a goal to uh, create more designs and post them more regularly, and again, you know, the pandemic and having to uh, basically create a new job teaching online uh, sucked all of that time and energy away from me. Uh, I mean, I say that. I'm very fortunate to have a job and to be earning an income during this pandemic that I am able to work from home it is totally a privilege and I'm so thankful that I am still able to provide for my family, so it's a, it's a joy, it's a pleasure. I love my job and I get to do it from home and it just means that uh, right now I don't have as much time to do other things that I like doing at home. <laughs> um, yeah, so I made three goals basically and I was able to accomplish one of them. I did say I wanted to be flexible and give myself room to 
try new things. And I did do that, so I guess maybe I, I made myself a fourth goal. <laughs> uh, I was able to be more flexible and try new things. I did more spinning. I had my color study in spinning. I knit a stuffy. Um, yeah, it's been... I, I've been able to be creative in my crafts, and that's a good thing. Uh, so for spinning yardage, uh, I did su do some spinning. I spun up my Coopworth fiber that I had purchased. I, I washed it, I did the fiber prep, I spun it, I knit it into a sweater, uh, and then I also did a color study with some Shetland fiber, uh, which again I washed and prepped. I dyed it and then blended it, and you can watch all of those color study videos right here on this channel. Um, and so with those two spinning they were big spinning projects, so I guess I spent a lot of time spinning rather than knitting. Uh, I spun up 2,052 yards, which almost makes up my difference in knitting to the yards. That's pretty close. 2,000 versus 3,000? Uh, I'm going to call that pretty close. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I did do some things. So goals for 2021. I don't know, should I even set any goals? I mean, look at what happened at the US Capitol the other day. And then, and the pandemic before that. I don't know, should I even set any? <laughs> yes, I'm going to because I'm a goal-oriented person, okay. <laughs> uh, pandemics won't change that about my character. So, uh, my big goal for 2021 is to release a new design every month this year. At least one new design. So uh, that is on my radar for 2021. So I can tell you for January, I will be releasing the pattern for this headband, which will be a free pattern. It's just a really simple garter stitch headband. It's got this, um, cross of detail here, which is actually super simple. Uh, and so this will be the pattern that I released this month. I love it. It's just so comfy and cozy. Uh, I can wear my hair up in a bun or down in braids and it works really well. Um, yeah, so that's my big goal for 2021. I don't know if I, I mean, Obviously, I'd like to knit all the things, but I'm also really enjoying my my spinning wheel. I'm enjoying my loom, uh, and I'm just having a lot of fun doing different things. I think it's helping my mind to relax after a long day in front of the computer. Um, usually. <laughs> Uh, I would come home and my husband and I would sit on the couch and watch a lot of TV together and I would knit while watching TV. Uh, but, you know, screen time. There's just a lot of time in front of the screens these days. So it's also nice to be able to branch out and you know, not have a screen on in the background. <laughs> Which is really great. Um, yeah. So, so that's my year in review. Oh, it's really short and sweet. I mean, I knit less this year than the previous, and it's just been a year that I couldn't wait for it to be over. Just, I'm ready to start a new year. Uh, release more patterns more regularly and uh, to host more knit alongs and giveaways. So uh, I will be putting out a regular episode for you folks very soon. So until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope that you enjoy your craft, whatever it might be.